All right, so let's see. Remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed, if you are joining right now. Annotate the admissions resource uh, with the request mapping of slash admissions. This means that if somebody wants to come to admissions department or wants to use applications in the, the microservice in the admissions department, he have to go to slash admissions. If you want to use the HR, you go to slash HR. If you want to use the pathology, you go to slash pathology. So that is what request mapping is all about. So I'm going to add the request mapping of slash admissions in the admissions resource. So come to just below the address controller and simply say at request mapping and uh, simply and just say slash admissions, that's all. Okay, let's see where we are. I'm going to save this. Annotate the get patients method with the request mapping of slash patients. So now, if you are in the admissions department, to go to return the list of patients, you simply use slash admissions slash patients. So the top level, uh, uh, URL is slash, ad, uh, slash admissions for the admission department. Then going within admissions to get list of patients, to get list of uh, a search for a particular patient, to delete the patient. This now will be in different sub uh, uh, sub URLs inside admissions. So annotate the get patients method with a request mapping of slash patients. So I'm going to do it. So this get patients here, I'm going to. That is this. I'm going to say at request mapping of slash uh, patients. All right. Uh, let's see where we are in the stream of time. So annotate the get patient by ID method with request mapping of slash patients slash ID. So this get patient by ID is going to be at request mapping of slash uh, slash patients. Slash ID. Now the ID will be changing, so it's not a particular ID, so it has to be parameter. It has to be changing, so it has to be a parameter. To make it a parameter, simply put the ID inside. Call it braces. That means it's a parameter. It can change from uh, time to time. I'm going to press Control Shift O to correct all this to import the necessary things. All right. So let's see where we are. So we have this. 